Mm -hmm. Howdy, everybody. How's everyone doing? Hey, did you ever... Okay, no, not... Okay, sorry, cut. Hey, everybody, how is everyone doing? Hey, um, so the other day, I was driving past Popeye's Chicken, and then I went by Chick-fil-A. Anyway, their chicken sandwich sounded really good. I was gonna stop and get some, but then I remembered, oh, yeah. This thing with, allegedly, McDonald's selling human meat, and they're associated with KFC. Neither here or there. So I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna try to make it. So I was like, hmm, how do I make this? Do you want to know how to make it? I don't know, but I try to figure it out. Come on, let's try to make this together. Popeye's chicken sandwiches. Yeah. So, what you're gonna need is some cornstarch, flour, uh, let's see here, garlic powder, chili, paprika, this is essential, I guess, red hot, franks, milk and eggs, chicken thigh meat, hmm? chicken thighs, you can use breast, I guess, mayo, and pickles. All right, so first we're gonna, we're gonna use this to um, sift our flour through, so no clumps, along with this. And then you're gonna mix this up, and we're gonna proceed. You're also gonna need a pan with oil, okay? So let's get that rolling. Mm. So you put your flour in the, in the thingy here, like that. Oh, okay, let's just go all of it. That's about a cup and a quarter, a cup and a half. That, two eggs for, I don't know, maybe a half a cup of milk, maybe a cup of milk. Yeah, probably about a cup of milk. Maybe a little more, I don't know, I didn't measure it. Okay, see what I'm doing? See what I'm doing? Okay, now that that's all gone, now that that's all gone, you take a, about a tablespoon of your, this, you put that on up in there, and then you shift that on in there. Yeah, you shift it on in there now. Shift, 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 then you want to mix that all together, okay, man? I'm going to mix that all together. And then, with your chicken, look at here. Look at here, now. Look at how. Pay attention. Look at how. You want to wash your chicken, right? But you don't want it wet. You want to dry off your your hand. You want to dry off your meat. Mmm, yes. Dry off the wet meat. Yes. You like to dry off the wet meat. All right? Wet meat, dry. Sort of. Okay? So you want to do that. It's very important to let all this work over here. Now. Let's go over here. Oh, you also want to have some plastic wrap down, because when you bread it, when you get it, you want to have a place to set it before you go into the fryer, okay? Let's roll. I almost forgot. You also need, uh, salt and pepel. Pepel, which I left all the way over there, but I'm going to put pepper in there too, okay? That's my dog. I'm going to put pepper in here too. Just right inside your egg wash, you want to put some of that French Red Hot inside your egg wash. <sighs> like that. You can put some on your chicken. You can put that shit on anything. Okay, so then you put that like that. Watch this, I'll show you how to do this now. You take, you take your heel chicken, right? You put it on up in here, like that. Just like that now, just like that. You bathe the chicken in your, in your little egg. Hey, egg, chicken? Oh, it's like cannibalism in reverse. <laughs> cannibalism in reverse, okay? You put that all in there now. Ooh, we have a little hanger on her. Those are chicken tenders. You ever buy chicken tenders? That's what you're buying right there. <laughs> so look at all that meat you lose, look at that. Look at that. You can buy for the same price buys and just cut that chicken tender part off and you still have the thigh meat and the chicken tender. Look, see? Mm -hmm. That's called marketing. Okay, so you get your you get all your chicken in there, okay? You're supposed to use buttermilk. Buttermilk, but I don't have buttermilk, so I just use regular milk. Two percent. Or vitamin D, I'm sorry. It's pretty good. Okay, so you get that all up in there, put pepper in there, mix it all in. Mm-hmm. Got my oil heating up. Get nice and hot. Okay, and then what you're gonna want to do. Just call for a shoe. <laughs> just call for a moo. Okay, here we go. Ready? Put that right in there like that. Okay? Like that. Just like that. Flip. Boom. Oh, man. I blew that everywhere. Ooh. Like that. Just like that. You, you just dredge it in that flour like that. If you want to go double dip, you can. It adds this more breading to it. And, uh, I used to be all about that, but not anymore. Now I swing the other way. I go one dip. Okay, so there you go. That's why I say put the plastic down. Mm-hmm. Do the rest like that, and I'll be right back. Oh, shit, I just sprayed my fork. Anytime you're working with chicken, you want to stay sanitary. And I sprayed my chicken juice everywhere. So you want to do this. Don't spray our chicken now. So I did I did most of it, not all of it. Okay, so these are going to kind of be our test runners. They're going to come out good. All right, so then you need a paper towel also to catch the uh, hot oil chicken, which is going to come out of that real, real soon. See, when you're doing this, you got to stay one step ahead so you don't get all discombobulated. Okay. 
Here we go. <laughs> Mm, smells good. Okay, let's do a rest. Let's do a rest. It's probably good. I only did a few. We'll do the rest here in a little bit. Uh -oh. Killing our heat. We don't want that. Come on, you son of a bitch. I'm not going to get in there. Get that heat up. So we don't get too big. That one's thicker, so this one's going to take longer. These are going to take shorter. Mm hmm. I'm using broche bread buns. So we can even do like a little butter on top if you like. Mm hmm. So those are, huh? okay, so I still have some going, okay? Because these are really big pieces. But these are done. Just like at Popeye's. Or Chick-fil-A. Imagine that on a broached bun with the mayonnaise, spicy mayonnaise and pickle. Like that. Mmm. -hmm. Mmm. -hmm. Mm -hmm. Need a little salt, but we're good. Now, I'm going to store this in the oven just to keep it warm while I'm cooking the rest of these. Okay. So, in this little bag here, we have mayonnaise. French red hot and a little garlic powder. Mix. Mix all together. Yeah, see? Now put that on brush bun. Mm-hmm. It's so good. I already tasted it. Mm. So good. <laughs> son of a bitch. I'll eat it. Don't get rid of it. I'll eat that son of a bitch still. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, let me put that. I'll eat it. Anyway, so these, I mean to me it looks just like Popeyes. Just like Popeyes. Well, oh, and here's our spicy mustard to go. Or not mustard. Oh, no, no. It's got a lot of spicy um mayonnaise. Alright. Mm -hmm. While we were gone, Angel Girl made her very famous um, salad, which has kale, uh, red cabbage, carrot, um, green cabbage, uh, green onion, bacon bits, almond, with a sweet onion citrus dressing. Very refreshing to go with such a heavy thing Okay, I'll show you how to put this thing with your mayonnaise. Put your mayonnaise down, like that. And then you come over here, and you get a pickle. Now, I like a lot of pickle. Mm. I like a lot of pickle, so, like, at Popeye's, they don't give you enough pickle on your shit, so... And now that I made it at home, I can put as much pickle as I want. Do you want lettuce? No lettuce. Just like that. And then you put your, your chicken. Thank you, lovely assistant. And I toasted the broche bun with a little butter. And bambo bingo. Look at that, baby. Mm -hmm. Destroyed bun and everything. And then you take this lovely salad that baby girl made. Like that. Mm -hmm. It's very refreshing with such a heavy sandwich. Zesty. And you top it off with a little french fries like that. Yes. Hmm? Thank you. And there you have it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Popeye chicken sandwich with a salad and fries. Original.